Hi, this is Brian Katzung on behalf of KCSG Power Tools for Kartra. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up link forwarding from your base domain to your Kartra subdomain using a free Cloudflare account. This one-time setup will also allow you to turn any of your Kartra tracking links into custom domain tracking links with a simple text substitution. As Cloudflare will automatically supply an SSL certificate for you, both HTTP and HTTPS link forwarding and custom domain tracking links will work. So first of all, head on over to cloudflare.com and either log in if you've got an account or sign up for one. When you first log in, you won't see any sites um, if this is your first time. So you'll click on an add a site button. Um, when we get back through the process, of adding a site, it'll show a site like um, mykpowertools.com shows here. So after you add a site, we'll, you'll click on that site to do the setup. Um, you'll see what that looks like in a bit. So to add your site, put in just the base domain, um, no HTTPS or anything, no Kartra subdomains, just the base domain. So like in my case, it was kpowertools.com. You'll click on the Add Site button. You do not need to select any of the paid plans. Just click on the, the black box at the bottom where it says not sure where to start, get started for free. Click on that box and then click on Continue. It will import your domain records. I've uh, switched um, to a different domain here in this example um, so that I would be able to go through the add domain dialog. Obviously kpowertools.com was already in there, so pardon the sudden switch of domains. Um, when you set this up, Cloudflare will look at any existing DNS records that you had previously set up and it will import them. Uh, you will need at least two. You'll need the A record for your base domain. Um, it needs to have a public IP address in there. We're not actually going to access that public IP address um, unless you you have set up something special but in general um, you can just have any public IP address in there the one I've put in there happens to be the IP address for example.com you can use that exact same one 93.184.216.34 if you want to um, again that's not actually going to get accessed um, if you're using the configuration that I uh, am going to tell you about. The other uh, record you'll need is the C name uh, from your subdomain, your Kartra subdomain, whether it be www or some other uh, custom subdomain of your choice uh, to be forwarded to uh, your account.kartra.com. Those are the two that you'll need. Um, the proxy status should show DNS only for your CNAME record, and it should show that little orange cloud and proxied for your base domain A record. And then you'll click on the continue button. Uh, by the way, if you want to edit the IP address, uh, you can just click, uh, I don't remember if it's click or double click, but one or the other um, clicking on that field will allow you to edit that value. So when those are set up, click on the continue button. Uh, Cloudflare will look up your current domain name servers. You will need to go to your domain name registrar and you will need to tell them that you want to set up um, custom domain name servers instead of using their defaults. So you will enter the values that uh, Cloudflare tells you on this page, um, which may or may not be the same as the ones showing in this screenshot. Uh, there's a pool of them, so your values may be different. Make sure you use the ones that Cloudflare has assigned to you, because uh, if you use mine and yours are different, it's not going to work. Uh, when that's done, click on the Done and Check Name Servers, and Cloudflare will verify that you made the correct changes. So when your domain is all set up, you'll see that page that we saw at the beginning. You'll click on your domain come in here and click um, along the top. You'll see a bunch of icons. Click uh, on the one that uh, is showing dark on my screen called page rules. And then you'll see a screen that looks like this. We're gonna create uh, two of these page rules. 
um, well actually it's going to show you uh, it's going to say add a new page rule but when you click add a new page rule um, you'll see this the first page rule you'll say um, if the URL matches you'll put in simply your base domain forward slash T forward slash asterisk so whatever your base domain is no subdomains no HTTPS colon slash slash uh, again just the base domain forward slash t forward slash asterisk then in the then the settings are from the first drop down you'll choose forwarding url then you'll have a, um, a redirect option choose the 301 permanent redirect and then in the target link you're going to say https colon forward slash forward slash your Kartra account dot Kartra dot com forward slash analytics forward slash tracking underscore links forward slash dollar sign one now there's no C in tracking links it's literally T R A K I N G underscore links that is not a typo that is the that is where tracking links go as the next hop so you'll replace, of course, the KCSG, which is my Kartra account, with your Kartra account name, but the rest of the link will be that format. The order uh, dropdown, select first, and choose save and deploy. Then you'll click on add a new rule, and for the second rule, you'll choose if the URL matches, you'll plug in your base domain again, forward slash asterisk, uh, again, this is going to be another forwarding URL, also a 301 permanent redirect. This time, the target link will be HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash, and then whatever your uh, chosen Kartra subdomain is. So www or your other custom subdomain dot, and then your base domain forward slash dollar sign one. The order this time will be last instead of first. Click on save and deploy. And if everything got set up correctly, your page rules should show something like this. Obviously with your custom domain, not mine. Obviously with your Kartra account, not mine. But the, the carve out for tracking links should be rule number one. And the forwarding for the remainder of your domain should be rule number two. If they didn't get set up in the proper order for some reason, you can use those little up and down um, triangles on the left-hand side of the rules to change the order. Um, but if everything worked out properly the first time, it should show up in the correct order. To create a custom domain tracking link, you simply take the tracking link URL that Kartra gives you and replace the host portion. So in this example, the host portion is kcsg.krtra.com. Obviously, it'll have your account in there and not kcsg. You'll replace just that portion, leaving the rest of the link alone. Replace that with your custom base domain, not your Kartra subdomain, just the base domain. So, for example, here I've changed the kcsg.krtra.com to my base domain, kpowertools.com. So, when um, Cloudflare sees that URL, it'll say, oh, that matches slash t slash asterisk, and it will forward the URL that I've added in red to the original Kartra link. That's it. I hope you've enjoyed this video.